<clears throat> hey everyone, how are you doing? Um, I just want to talk to you a little bit about what you're going to be doing this week as far as making a base and a rim or a, a, a lip um, for your Greek piece, right? And that's what I'm talking about here. Your piece is going to have three things. It's going to have a body, it's going to have a neck of some kind with a rim, and it's going to have some kind of a base. And this is pretty fancy. And then you're probably going to have some kind of handles on it. Well, that's number four. Sorry, four things. So a body, a neck, and then a foot, and some kind of handles, right? So now you're trying to just basically make your shape right now. That's what you're trying to get done. And what you did last week was make the basic form. So you want to like this thing, and then we're going to do stuff to it. So let's say last week what you did was you made a simple bulbous form. This might be the smallest that you're going to do. This is only like six inches tall, right? But it starts out narrow, comes to like a teardrop shape. It has some volume to it. It could be bigger, more like eight inches like this, right? That's fine too. That's a good shape. Eight inches or so, seven or eight inches. This is more like eight to ten, right? Ooh. You can go that big if you want. That's, don't go any bigger than that. But here's just some three different examples, right? And then you're going to think about these things, which are different kinds of feet or handles that you're going to put on it. Now let's have a look. All these are different, but let's say we tried that one. And let's say we put this one on there and we think, oh, that's really cool. And then we come up with a different sort of top for it like that. Well, that looks kind of nice. And you think, well, that's cool. Maybe I'll do this. And my thought is, well, that looks just like that. And it sort of looks stiff because it's really not, but maybe not, maybe you like that. Maybe with handles it would be okay. Um, or maybe you make it a little taller and you think, okay, that's better, right? Or even bigger and taller. <laughs> or you think way taller, like that, right? So that's totally changing everything. Or crazy voluptuous, like that. <laughs> it's like a fire horn or something, right? Or even bigger. So you can see that, right? So now you, and you, switch, you can switch them around, and I'm gonna show you in a subsequent uh, little lecture on form and shape and how to make your bases and your, your rims. Like, well, that looks kind of odd. Maybe it's for something. Maybe it's for a big candle here or something, right? Or maybe we do this. I mean, there's something a little strange, but maybe not. I mean, this has a huge foot and a body and a huge lip and rim. You know, neck and rim, um, but maybe not. You get to choose what kind of form and shape you want. But these three things, a body, a neck, and a foot. And these are here to all kind of play around with those ideas. So let me come around and we'll look a little bit more about what might work and what might not. For example, Let's try this one again, right? We put that one up there and we think, okay, there's that. And then maybe we're gonna put this one on here, right? And I look at that and I think, that actually looks pretty good with that. I mean, as far as, if this was crazy wide, it might, the ratio might be strange. And if I put something else like huge up here, it's like, well, okay, that might actually work, right? And then imagine that you would have a couple handles, you know, on both sides. Like a handle here and a handle over there, right? You can imagine what it'd be like. But you're going to play around with how to make this work. It's like, okay, well, that was kind of a nice combo. And I can imagine what this would look like. If I were to take handles like this, maybe, right, that are kind of dramatic, and this, whoo, I put them up here like this. Kind of wild, right? Or maybe down here. Or maybe I take something more like this and this, right? The whole Greek thing, and I put them here and here. Whoo, that looks pretty cool. Or up here. Woohoo. Or switch them around and try that. So there you got a bunch of different examples of things that you can do right? And you can see that if you switch up the sizes and shapes, 
like this is a bigger one. This right here comes around here and this other foot is different. So you're gonna have to choose a foot and choose a rim and you're gonna make stencils of them till you like them. That's quite different, right? Cause this does this thing here. And that might accentuate a large form like this and actually look like the direction is just kind of continuing here. It kind of makes a little bit of a loop at the bottom and then comes up, right? And then, well, maybe let's try a big rim on this one. Whoa, okay, so now we got something going on. So there you got like a 15 inch pot, right? Cause you've got 10 inches and whatever, eight or 10 inches and five and whatever, probably maybe almost closer to 20. It's a pretty darn big 18 inches or something. All right, that's a little bit much, but you're welcome to try it. Uh, what I want you to do is look at all these parts and you're gonna be choosing your own parts, starting out with a template and what I mean is that with the template is that you are going to, you've already got your basic shape going, right? You've already got a template like that, right? And you're already happy with it. Well, then you're gonna figure out, well, what is this part going to be? Boom, 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 right? What's that part gonna be to go with that? And what's the ratio of this to that and do I like the way it looks? And then what is the rim going to be or the, the neck leading up to the rim, you know? So let's see if I go up like this. I could stop there, you know. That looks a little truncated and weird, right? Or maybe I would go up a little higher and do give it a little flare and do something like that. Okay, so now we're talking about something quite a little bit different, right? And then you're, go you're gonna think about what kind of handles, of course, you're gonna put on it. So a body, a foot, and a neck. So those three things, plus later on, you're gonna be figuring out some kind of a handle for this. It can be something simple, right? Your classic Greek shape. You also have the option to say, I'm putting a rim, a lip, lid on this and I'm going to then put some kind of sculpture on top of it right right so you see right so you can do that if you want and that's what we're doing this week so this last week you did this this week you're doing the neck and the foot and then what I'm going to be talking to you about in a subsequent uh, video lecture is what's going to go on in here you know what are you going to put in there that's going to tell a story about you right now in your life living in this moment in history now it doesn't need to it can be really funky and funny you know it could be just a one-liner it doesn't need to be crazy serious or anything or it could be but anyways we'll talk about that but for now you've made this piece so this week you're going to make this piece and this week you're gonna make this piece. Here's what I wanna say about it. Don't put them together. So, right? Keep them leather hard and keep them in their own, you know, make sure that they're wrapped air tight so that they stay at leather hard. And we're gonna work on refining them and we're gonna work on your imagery and all that. And the last thing we're gonna do is put them together, right? The last thing we'll do is that's the fun part when you put them all together and then you put on these guys, right? You're, then you're gonna figure out your handles, what you want for the size and you're gonna put on something like this, right? You see all kinds of variations here and we'll go over that more. But don't make your handles now because handles dry out way, way too fast. You'll make those at the very last because you can dry out a handle in just a few minutes especially like with a hair dryer or just setting it outside for a few minutes to catch it up with the rest of your pot. So make the body, have it set aside, make the, the, the neck, have it set aside, you know, put it in place to see you like it, and then make the foot and have it set aside. Then we will worry about next week doing all the imagery and stuff. And the last thing we'll do is put them all together and put handles on it. Got it? Whee! All right, see you guys later.